Hi guys, this is Abumal. In this video, I will show you the comparison between Juniper and Cisco commands. In my lab, R1 is a Cisco device and JR1 is a Juniper device. And I will also make the connectivity between R1 and JR1. So let's begin with Cisco. Go to the co configuration mode. CONFT is a command to enter into the configuration mode in J Cisco. So if you want to give the host name, the command is for Cisco command is host name r1 that's it and it will be in your your host name will be changed as r1 similarly if you want to uh, want to do the same thing in the juniper uh, you just log in, in as a root cli there is no there is no enable mode in a ju uh, in a juniper you just need to go into the configuration mode so you and configuration and there is one more way exit do edit command okay there are two ways to enter into the configuration mode in juniper the main difference between cisco and juniper is whenever you whenever you shoot the command in a cisco it will automatically get affected right you will uh, uh your uh, host name r1 is uh, automatically at the same time will be changed but in juniper it's not like that in a juniper you have to shoot the command ho set system host name jr1 enter and you can see that the we you have given the command but it was not automatically affected right it, this is because the uh, the configuration which you are doing is doing in a candidate configuration not a running configuration but in a cisco we have a running all configuration changes has been made directly into the running configuration and when you do the wr it will copy it into the startup configuration right but in juniper it's not like that we have a different uh, we have a candidate configuration initial configuration was uh, was done in the candidate and once you do the commit it will enter into the running configuration or a startup configuration so if i do the commit here it will give me the error that the mandatory statement root authentication is missing whenever you configure a brand new or a, uh, or a brand new juniper router or you are just uh, uh, restored to the fact factory default to any juniper router you need to configure first root authentication and what is command for configuration configuring the root authentication is set system root authentication plain text password i will give as juniper and i p e r enter and you need to do the commit now look once i commit the configuration it was co copied into the uh, running configuration from candidate configuration and my pa and my host name will be changed also they allow me to do the commit otherwise it's giving me the root authentication failed so likewise in cisco if you want to ch save your configuration into the uh, startup configuration you just need to do the wr your configuration will be saved now move into the next thing if you want to see the interface status in cisco it command is show ip interface brief but the same thing if you want to check in the juniper command is show inter show interface toss so we are in the configuration mode right now so we cannot do the show commands here so do the exit go into the user mode show interface thus this is the command you can do you can check the engine in juniper to find out the interface status next thing with which would i would like uh, which i would like to show you is if you want to see the routing table in juniper command is uh, so, oh, sorry sorry my, my my bad if you want to change the check the routing table in a cisco command is show ip route but if you see want to see the same thing in juniper is show route so in cisco if you want to give the ip address to the interfaces interface the command is go to the configuration mode c u n f t interface ethernet 0 slash 0 and the i if you want to give the ip addresses ip address dot 
10.12.1 and subnet mask is 24 bit I'm giving that's it and you just need to do the unshut your interface will be enabled exit exit show IP int so now you can see that ethernet 0 slash 0 is having the IP address and administrator status is up and protocol status is also up. if you same thing you want to do in the Juniper go to the added mode check which interface we have connected with we have connected with ethernet EM0 slash 0 but here there is a catch in the Juniper we cannot configure the IP on a physical interface we need to create a logical unit for each and every physical interface in a Juniper so if we want to configure EM0 with the IP address so what I need to do is set interface EM0 EM0 unit 0 family Ionet, we have a different different family classes defined in the Juniper like uh, for IPv6 we have Inet 6 for I, um, IPv4 we have Inet so in a later videos I will do this part and I will explain how what uh, what all families uh, Juniper fa IP families Juniper have so just forgot about it right now so command is set interface EM0 unit 0 family Inet address 10.10.12.2 but unlike Cisco we need uh, Cisco in a Cisco we need to give the complete subnet mask like 255.255.255.0 but in a Juniper we have a liberty we can give the slash 24 that's it and do the commit so that your ca configuration take effect now your interface have the IP address exit I know there is every time you need to ad exit for doing the show command but if you want to do the show command in a G in a configuration mode just do it like this run show interface toss now you can see we have the IP address on EM0 unit 0 and you can see that physical unit physical interface is this and we have configured one logical unit 0 with the with interface EM0 okay similarly go to the router one do the config t in a cisco if you want to run any show command from configuration mode the you just need to add a do show ip int brief so you just need to add a do in front of the command if you want to run any show command from the configuration mode like if you want to run <coughs> WR from a configuration mode just do it do WR that's it okay so now check we have the connectivity between R1 and JR1 whether we are able to ping the JR from JR1 from R1 so do ping as I told you that I just need to add a do in front of any command if I want to run it from configuration mode so do it do ping 10.10.12.2 let's ping so we can see that we are able to ping the Juniper and the Cisco. Uh, we are able to create the Juniper and Cisco connectivity. R1 is able to ping, able to ping JR1. So let's go to the JR1 Juniper device and check whether we are able to ping uh, Cisco device or not. So here we can use run ping 10.10.12.1. So we can see that we are getting the con getting the reply from Cisco router but there is another way in Juniper we can do the rapid ping and run ping 10.10.12.1 rapid count 100 and ping you will get the 100 ping results right so if you want to see, uh, see the complete configuration in Cisco the command is show run running config so you can see the complete configuration here right and if you want to see the uh, in configuration for a particular interface show run interface eth 0 slash 0 right you can see the configuration of that interface similar thing if you want to 
check the configuration in Juniper just show configuration you will able to see the configuration so it's a Juniper is a Linux based so you will find the format in the Linux output FreeBSD like this but there is one more way to see the configuration in the Juniper which is display set mode the mode in uh, you can see the command exactly the way you are giving it like if you, are, you if you want the configuration in this format the command which you have given set interface unit 0 family i need 0 right so do it like this show configuration pipeline display set that's it you are able to see your all configuration you have given the host name you have given the root authentication you have give this is the default configuration <coughs> which he has created set system this is the default configuration and this is the interface name uh, interface IP address which you have given if you want to see uh, if you want to see the configuration of a particular interface in Juniper show config show configuration interface em0 do it display set or without display set you can see it like this complete configuration thank you guys thank you for watching my video if anybody want to join my training sessions whatsapp number is on a screen you can you can whatsapp me your details you can reach out through email also you can like my page also you can write down on my facebook wall also please subscribe my youtube channel for so that if any video i can update you will get the information and i hope this will be informative for you thank you